Can you secure the anchors, please? Secure the anchors. Yeah, all copy. Secure the anchors. When we think about the deep sea, something that is often said is that it's largely unexplored. When it comes to the midwater environment, the water column, that is even more so uh, the case. The few systems that are out there, like ROVs and subs, that are able to access the deep ocean generally go straight to the bottom to do research down there. We just skip through this massive volume of, of ha habitable environment on the planet that we really don't know much about at all. And so when we put that in the context of things like climate change or uh, resource extraction from the ocean, uh, fisheries, that sort of thing, we really don't have any clue on what impacts those are having on the midwater. And one of the first steps, really the first step, is to just know what's there in the first place. So the things that we're working on on this project are tools for discovery to explore biodiversity in, in the midwater. If you're able to show that there are areas in the midwater environment that are special, that might be something we want to set aside and protect. But we really can't even speak to those things without having the tools available to do that. So this cruise is an opportunity for us to test out our equipment for a 2020 expedition in New Caledonia. We brought on board the deep PIV instrument, which allows us to essentially see things in completely different ways um, in the deep sea. And um, it's the first time we'll be deploying it off of ROV Sebastian. So the DPIV instrument has a number of components. First is a high-powered illumination system. It's a laser-based imaging device. Um, it also has a high-definition, uh, high-frame rate camera system uh, that enables you know, capturing of particles or animals that might be in the laser sheet or laser illumination. And then it also comes along with a dye injector where we can either add fluorescein dye or particles to understand how fluid is moving in and around animals of interest. This is actually a sea trials to get ready for a much longer expedition next year in the Western Pacific. Uh, we're going to use that Ambari system, but um, on my end, we're also developing uh, another sampling technology for the midwater called the RAD sampler. And RAD stands for the Rotary Actuated Dodecahedron, which is kind of a mouthful, but it's a way to surround and encapsulate midwater animals very quickly. And once they are inside a sphere of containment, I'll call it that, we can start to do some more advanced things on them as well. The midwater region of the ocean is one of the least explored places, some would argue, on our planet. And so our goal here is to really develop new tools and techniques for observation of that uh, life so that one day we could perhaps reverse engineer what they're doing and apply it to other technologies. <laughs>